Hi friends, I wanted to read you a story today that's all about a dairy farm. A dairy farm is where cows live and that's where we get milk. You can use milk to make lots of things. We're going to read this story today. What's it like to be a dairy farmer? Look at that cow eating some grass. It looks very happy. It is dark and quiet inside the big red barn. Some cows chew bits of feed. Cleo the cat chases a mouse out of the barn. The barn door opens. Jason and Eve the dairy farmers of Sunrise Farm, look proudly at their 40 cows. Good morning, Belle, says Eve, and she pats a big black and white Holstein cow. Moo, says Belle. Eve and Jason lead six cows at a time to the holding area. Here, they wash the cows for milking. When the cows are clean, Eve leads them to a special room called the milking parlor. In the sparkling clean room, the farmer takes out milking machines. Steady, Elizabeth, she tells the cow. Eve attaches the machines and begins milking. After six minutes, Elizabeth has given all of her milk. Eve weighs the milk. She writes it down in a special diary that the farmers write in every day. Last year, Elizabeth gave 15,000 pounds of milk. Holy moly! Do you see how the farmer Eve is writing down how much milk each cow gives? That's how they keep track of their milk at their farm. Now it is Henrietta's turn. She is one of the oldest cows. Eve moves quickly from cow to cow, finishing the milking by hand. The sun rises. The July morning warms up. When the other cows are washed, Jason comes to help with the milking. And by 7.30, all the cows have been milked. These farmers have to wake up early to get their work done. Eve watches the milk travel from the cows through the glass pipes to the milk tank. The milk never touches any air. It stays clean and fresh. The milk cools in a tank. So it goes in the tubes, into this little jar where she can see how much there is. Then it goes through these pipes all the way to the tank. They want to keep the milk clean. We don't want any germs in our milk. Jason and Eve clean the milking equipment and they feed the cows. I hope Kira is awake, says Eve. I'm hungry. Kira is Eve and Jason's daughter. And in the farmhouse, it's her job to make breakfast. Jason checks on Belle. He looks at her stanchion, the metal piece that holds her in place in her stall. Oh yeah, I could use some pancakes today, he says. Me too, says Eve. And inside, Kira is flipping the last pancake. She sees her parents walk up to the house. Near the barn, she sees her own heifer, Polly. She can't wait to go visit that baby cow. Good morning, Kira, says Eve. She and Jason smell the warm pancakes and they smile at Kira. Hi, Mom and Dad, says Kira. You're just in time. After breakfast, I'm going to town to buy some cow feed, says Jason. The cows eat greens, hay, and corn that grow at Sunrise Farm, and they also need vitamin food that helps them to make more milk. Oh, fine, says Eve. I'll cut hay in the south meadow. And I'll visit Polly, says Kira. You're doing good work with her, says Jason. She is really growing. 
Everybody has jobs to do at the farm. Hi, anybody home? Asks Ken as he opens up the door. Ken drives the big truck that brings milk from the farm to the dairy, the dairy plant. How is everything at Sunrise Farm? Says Ken. Milking went fine this morning, says Eve. It's all ready for you. They go out to the milk tank. Milk is pumped into Ken's shiny refrigerator truck. Jason marks the amount in the diary. So they hook up a big hose to that tank and it pumps all of that milk from the cows right into that truck. It's refrigerated, just like the fridge at your house to keep the milk cold. Kira waves as Ken's truck pulls away. Ken is on his way to the dairy plant. The workers there will mix the milk from Sunrise Farm with milk from other farms. Before the milk can get sold, it has to be tested to make sure it is fresh. The milk is also pasteurized. This kills all of the germs and it keeps the milk fresh. Then the milk gets poured into containers or jugs to be sold in stores. Jason leaves for town. At nine o'clock, Kira and Eve lead the cows out of the barn to the sunny pasture where they can eat green clovers. Oh, that sounds like a great day for a cow. Then Kira goes to see the baby cows. Each one lives in its own little house in a special pen. First, Kira visits Polly, her own cow. Good morning, Polly, says Kira. She looks at her proudly. Polly eats feed from Kira's hand. Then Kira feeds the others. As Kira leaves the pen, she forgets to close the gate. The heifers are busy eating. Only one notices the open gate. Polly follows Kira into the big barn. Kira has filled a bowl with milk and is looking for Cleo the cat. And suddenly, she feels a push at her back. She turns around and sees Polly. Polly, Kira says with a laugh, did you come to help me with my chores? We better go back to the pasture now. Kira washes Polly, she brushes her, and when she's finished, Kira closes the gate carefully. She looks at Polly. Kira hopes that Polly will win a ribbon at the county fair later in the summer. Kira watches her mother in the tractor cutting the hay. And later, Jason comes back from the store with the feed. He checks the cornfield. He will store the corn in the silo to be used in the winter for the cows. Wow, they all have important jobs on the farm. Their mom, Eve, is driving the tractor to cut the hay. Polly is their cow she needed to get fed. They took all of the babies out to the pasture. Kira's even feeding the cat in the barn. Their dad went to the store to get food for the cows. They all have jobs. At five o'clock, the family leads the cows back into the big barn. They begin the evening milking. This time, Kira helps her dad as Eve goes to the house to cook the dinner. When they finish, Jason hands Kira the diary. She thinks, and then she writes. July 22nd. A good day at Sunrise Farm. Polly looks great. I hope she wins a ribbon at the fair. I just can't wait to hear her moo again tomorrow. The end. Dairy farms look like a fun place to live, but there's a lot of chores to do. If you lived at a dairy farm, you would have to help with chores too. Which chore do you think would be your favorite one? I think I would like to wash the cows. That sounds like a fun job. Okay, friends, I will be back later with more stories to read with you. Have an awesome day.